Hello. Welcome to the stream. And if you're on YouTube, hello. Welcome to the VOD. Um, this is day two of working on this. I know I literally just streamed yesterday, but uh, I kind of wanted to hop back in here, make some adjustments to this character here. And uh, I had so much fun with it last time that I decided I might want to do it again for a second time. Let me just turn down the music here. I feel like it might be a little bit loud. For some reason, it's not letting me. Uh, there we go. Just a little bit, not too much. Hopefully it's not too quiet. There's some good music here. I got a Nintendo playlist here of some chill remixes. The literal YouTube video titles in the bottom right of the screen there if you want to look that up. Um, and yeah, I'm thinking, I guess we'll just get started. Um, right now, I want to focus on sort of the face and then just kind of futz with it a little bit more before we start uh, doing some of the retopology. I don't know exactly how long I'll spend on it today, but uh, I guess we'll see. Um, some things that I'm noticing right now is that I feel like the jaw might be a bit too square, the face is kind of too flat, I'm noticing the nose is a little bit too pointy, and maybe we could smooth out some of those details in the ear. Let's start with the jaw first. I'm thinking something we could possibly do is we could maybe just grab it like this and pull it in just a little bit, and uh, maybe give them a little bit more room. I have a proper chin here. Now I don't want it to stick too far forward here either, I just kind of want it to give the idea that he has a chin and that it's not too pointy or square. So we'll just kind of just that here. We just pull it down just a little more. I don't want his lips to be too big. So we can just kind of mess with that, kind of push this in a little bit. Maybe we can smooth out that top lip there. Maybe it's uh, poking out a little bit too far here. Let's just grab my smooth tool, raise the influence a little bit, and just kind of smooth that in. Now, because of that, we might need to adjust the uh, crease here to indicate where the mouth, mouth is. So we'll just kind of do that, make that pretty small, and then just kind of remind ourselves of where the mouth is lies here maybe something like that I don't know maybe something like that and then we'll just kind of smooth this out kind of blend this in with the lips here there we go and uh, looks a little better not entirely sure how I feel I feel like maybe uh, the cheeks might need to be pushed back a little bit. I don't want his face to be too pointy. My problem right now. Right now it just kind of feels like really lumpy. And if I look at some of my reference here, um, it almost kind of feels like we could grab our inflate brush and just kind of maybe not push it back, but maybe push it out. see what this looks like and then I want to kind of give some definition under here just a little bit and smooth everything out here I wonder if I pushed the lips in a little bit too far maybe I should pull it out a little more because we kind of got an area here where it's like kind of creasing into the face I don't know how I feel about that, so let's just kind of smooth this out a little bit. It does look a little better. Still got kind of a square jaw, so let's kind of bring this up a little bit. Push this down. Do kind of like the look of that a little bit better. Let's kind of redefine where those lips go. that. 
smooth it out. And then we'll just kind of smooth it out on the top here. Something like that. It's kind of hard to tell with my reference, but um, the lips kind of go up a little more in the middle. So we'll kind of just give that a try. And then it kind of goes in near the edges of it. That looks a little bit better. Now for the bottom lip. Kinda, cause with these lips, there is like a clear definition of like where it like starts and stops. So I do kind of want to try and imitate that a little bit. So we'll just try and uh, do that without it looking too pouty. Maybe we could grab this and just come in here. Just kind of bring this out a little bit. Smooth it. Good old smooth tool here. Let's see. How's that look? A little bit better. Let's go ahead and sort of bring the bottom up here. Something like that. Minor adjustments. Just want to make sure it doesn't look too unnatural. Because like I said last time, the mouth is one of the most important parts of the face. It's one of the most recognizable. So you want to make sure that you have everything just right. Just as you need it. I'm going to just kind of give the mouth a little bit more shape here. Smooth everything out. Make it blend into the rest of the face here. Let's see, how does that look? Let's just kind of come in here and give this a bit more definition. Smooth it. There we go. How does that look? I feel like it goes a little bit too far down, so let's just try and bring this back up here. At least from the side view. And then maybe this could come down just a little. Just a little bit. Kind of give this more that shape. Definitely really hard to tell what looks good and what doesn't. I'm just going to kind of give this a little bit more detail here so that I can make a little bit more finer adjustments. And then I'm just going to keep giving it that shape. It definitely looks better. The only thing is I'm kind of noticing some pitching, especially near where the corners of the mouth are, kind of where it goes up here. But uh, it does look a little better. It still looks a little pouty. So, I'm just going to maybe bring this in a little bit. It doesn't look too bad from the side. Maybe I can... This is why I pulled it back. It's because it kind of looks like... Can't really see it that well from the side. Maybe it's like too far forward, but it might actually look good. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just kind of winging it here. Maybe I can... Uh, I don't know. Bring this down here, pull this back, and then maybe give them a little bit more definition and sort of cheek area over here. I don't know. Give that a try. And then, of course, we should smooth it out. That looks like... Oops. I want to get rid of that detail there. Come on. Come on. Give me the detail back. Thank you. Thank you very much. And let's just uh, keep doing that. Smooth it out. OK. 
Okay. Looks better. I gotta say that. That looks much better. At least that's what I think. I don't know. Maybe I just uh, ended up back where I started and now I'm like, eh, now for some reason it looks better. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like this needs to have a better shape though. Kind of near where the sides of the head are. There we go. He has a bit more of a defined jaw. We can, uh, I don't know, push this down a little more. One thing we could probably do that might help us out that I kind of only thought of just now, we can add what's called a mat cap, which is basically a sort of uh, test material to put on that kind of gives it a clay texture, which should help us see better like in these dark areas down here. I don't know, maybe that'll help. So if I go up here, mat cap, and then give it like that, kind of helps to be able to see like uh, where light shines better and like some darker areas still a little bit hard to see under here though but it's no problem uh, we'll just work with this and then see what we can do definitely gives makes it a little bit easier to look at so let's see I'm thinking the mouth looks pretty good let's start working on the nose next so the nose kind of, it doesn't curve in like this, it kind of goes in flat, which should help it not to look so pointy. So let's kind of do something like this. And it can still have that roundness near the tip, but uh, let's not make it as dramatic. Since this is a child we're talking about, we're not making an ogre here. Not making an ogre. Let's see, how's that look? It doesn't look many, it doesn't look much different from the front, but the side looks much better, I have to say. Let's see. I think, uh, I think that we should be good there. Let's work on uh, maybe the eyes next. Just to, I uh, Make the shape a little bit better. I don't want to futz with it too much. It's just, uh, one thing that I want to try and fix about the eyes is I'm noticing a bit of pinching over here where it kind of like, you can tell from far away that it kind of goes like up like that and then the bottom goes down like that. I want to try and make that more flush with the, uh, with the face. <laughs> Also, I'm still a little bit sick. I don't know if it's just allergies from my work or something, but I got a wee bit of a runny nose. It's no problem though. Let's work through it. Uh, so just in case you're wondering why I'm sniffling a little bit, I'll try and uh, mute the microphone if I have to sneeze, but uh, yeah, just to let you know, I'm still a little sick. Uh, not doing too bad. This is definitely pretty relaxing. Just working on this. Just being able to talk to myself a little bit and just work on this is definitely a nice feeling. Just to have some nice music playing in the background and just making these fine, fine tuned adjustments. It's definitely. Pretty relaxing. I think that looks a little better. How does it look compared to the rest of the model here? Let's see. Another thing about this matte cap too is it kind of gives it... I mean, it's a clay texture, but it almost kind of resembles the color of skin. So it almost looks a little bit more realistic as opposed to that solid gray texture where it's like you can't Hell, like, because the texture can give some context to the way the uh, face looks and everything. So, that's important to figure out as well. And I'm noticing as I zoom out back here that the face still looks a little bit lumpy, but I mean, it's all going to basically be covered up by the retopology anyway, so not going to matter too much.
One thing I do kind of want to fix here is there's the shape of the neck. Hold on, I have to sneeze. Give me a second. I'm going to mute my mic. The sneeze went away. I ended up not having to sneeze because the sneeze went away. I love that about my body. Very good. Very, very, very good. Ah. And what sucks is, uh, you know, you feel like you have to sneeze and then the feeling goes away and then you're just left with this, like, like nasally, yeah, you know, like tingling sensation in your nose that you just can't resolve. It's always a fun feeling. Now, I want to figure out what the shape of the neck specifically is from some of these front view here. But I do still have my, uh, my muscle anatomy prints. So I'll just kind of take a look at that real quick. The um, back of the neck kind of connects by these little strips of muscle here that go like that. But the sort of sides of the neck kind of go under. Something like that. And then these strips kind of come down sort of towards the front here and we just kind of got something like this going on so let's just try and imitate that I'd say honestly this might not look too bad <laughs> oh my goodness apologize if I keep sniffling hope it's not too distracting Just try and smooth this in and uh, honestly, just based on what I already drew, it doesn't look so bad. I kind of like the shape of the neck there. <laughs> Looking pretty, pretty sharp. Pretty sharp, if I do say so myself. Now let's just smooth out some of the details of the ear here because it's looking a little bit too prominent. Some of these shapes. It's also kind of looking a little bit lumpy, so let's just kind of fix that. I feel like this part seems to be thicker than this part over here, so let's kind of match that thickness by just coming in here, making this a little thicker. And then after that, we'll just kind of smooth it out a little bit. There we go. Oh my goodness, the sniffles. It won't go away. Wonder if it's because I talked about nostrils so much in the last stream. It's like a curse. You talk about a body part for so long and that part of your real body gets cursed. Now I'm forced to have the sniffles all day. Because I talked about nostrils so much. Shame. Real shame. <laughs> but it's alright. I got some tissues next to me. I should be fine. Uh, if I have to, I'll probably just uh, roll up a piece of tissues, just have it in my nose for the whole stream. Honestly, that's not sounding like a bad idea. There we go. Looks a little better. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that ear definitely looks much better now. Now that I kind of brought back in some of those details there. And it doesn't really stick out that much from the back, but it's not that huge of a... Not that huge of a problem. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'm gonna do what I said I'd do. I'm just gonna... Because it's one side of my nostril that's like being real bad with the sniffles. So I'm just going to stick a piece of tissue up there. Kind of let that... There we go. Hopefully that doesn't affect my speech. But hopefully I shouldn't be sniffling as much. Now where was I? Alright. That's kind of... 
mess with the shape of the head here because it shouldn't be this straight. It kind of comes back a little bit as far as I know. But we need to give him a little bit more of a forehead here as the back of the head kind of comes back. Sort of like this. I don't want to give him an alien head either. Let's just kind of do that. Be something like this. There we go. Something like that. Yeah, that looks better. Let's kind of bring these down a little bit. Ah, uh, see? This is why it's important to look at your model from all sides. Because we got kind of a square head going on up here. We can't have that. No siree. We cannot have that. Almost forgot to check the top view here. Let's check the bottom view. Yep, a little bit of a square head. Not gonna happen. Not gonna have that. No siree. Maybe we could take our little inflate brush here and just kind of... Puff out the uh, middle of the back of the head here. So kind of like something like this. See what that looks like. Just smooth everything out here. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Not too shabby at all. Not at all. And then let's just uh, bring in these little, little bits here. There we go. Now that is more of a head shape. That is definitely way more of a head shape. Let's see, what am I missing? I almost wonder if we can afford to make the mouth a little bit bigger and then maybe a little bit higher up on the face. Because I wanna give the impression that, I wanna give the impression that he's a child with child proportions instead of an adult with a child body and an adult proportioned face. I don't want to give off that impression. So we'll just kind of bring that up here. And already that's looking a bit better. Bring that chin down, bring that nose in. Not too much, just a little bit. Eyes in just a bit. Just a bit. Maybe I can undo that because I don't want to bring him in too much. Yeah, there we go. Still want him to have proper eyelids. So let's just uh, kind of bring back that shape here a little bit. Something like that. It's always hard to do a to do like a human character. I've done so many like stylized characters and like cartoon characters without like realistic proportions. And I feel like those are much easier because it kind of breaks the rules a little bit more. It is really hard to and I know uh, they tell you to if you're ever learning to do a model of a character, to do a uh, sort of realistically proportioned human first, and then you can learn to make stylistic decisions, because that's how you learn. That's how you learn the rules of anatomy. They always tell you, learn the rules before you break them. And I think that's true too. That's how I started. And then you, uh, well, I mean, the stylistic characters that I've designed, I didn't like, well, I made the 3D model of them, but I didn't design the character. It was based off of a reference that someone else designed. And I gotta say, that was some of the easiest stuff I did because you don't have to worry about it being too uncanny. 
for humans to look at. You don't have to worry about if anything's too unrealistic since it's an unrealistic character anyway. So that's what's kind of easy about doing characters like that as opposed to doing real humans like this. So basically what I'm trying to say is stylized not human characters are way easier to do than realistic human characters and then stylized human characters are probably the hardest to do because you want it to look still stylized but still because it's based on a real life thing then you don't want it to break the uncanny you don't want it to be in the uncanny valley and honestly I think we're looking good here maybe the ears are a little bit too far forward I could probably bring these back a little bit if it'll let me if it'll let me something like that and there we go maybe I could just pull it out just a little bit just a bit back in here smooth it not too bad not too bad if I do say so myself this is what the back of the character looks like this is what the front of the character looks like and I think I did a pretty decent job of getting what I want out of this character. Now I do just kind of want to mess with the feet here a little bit because I feel like I could do a better job of getting the ankles to look a bit better. Because right now it just kind of curves up into the leg and that's not very... That's not very realistic so let's just try and do make some adjustments here. I want it to kind of, so let's see, if I take my crease tool, I can kind of, oops, that may be a bit too much. Let's lower the influence there. Just kind of pinch it where the ankle starts. And then we'll kind of flatten it out. So this is kind of where the leg starts, so we'll just kind of bring this back in and then smooth this area out here. There we go. Now let's just smooth this little area out here. Kind of bring this in a little bit. And then as far as the heel goes, we'll just kind of do the same thing. Kind of make our little separation here. Maybe something like that. And we'll just kind of bring the heel out a little bit more. And we'll just kind of smooth out where we made that indication. Something like that. I think that's better. I think that's better. Let's just kind of make a little bit more futsy adjustments here. Let's see. We can kind of bring hips out a little bit more. Just a little bit. Oops. Was a little bit too much detail there. I was having a hard time smoothing over it. We'll just kind of make some adjustments here. Smooth everything out. This might be good. Save the character. Now I'm starting to notice that the lips might be a bit too pouty. This is the problem is you start noticing these little things and you just want to keep flexing with it. Let's see, how, how does it look in my reference? Mm, kind of goes down. It. And then you can just kind of 
Make that bottom lip look a little better. You know what? I think it's because of the smoothing on the corners here. So let's just kind of mesh that in with the face a little bit better. Same with down here. And then we'll just kind of bring that indication back a little bit with the mouth. I think that's what's going to have to work. Maybe something like that. Maybe something like that. And then let's kind of bring this in a little bit. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. That maybe? Ah. Not really. That looks better. Let's see, from far away, it almost seems like I could take this bottom lip and smooth it in a little bit more. Not too much, though. That seems like it might be a bit too much. Let's see. Yeah, I could definitely do more to get that bottom lip to fit bit more in there. I think that's the only issue that I'm having right now. It's just this bottom lip here. So if we just kind of take these little edges and just kind of bring them in like this. From far away, you should just be able to see the indication of the mouth and not so much the lip. But I mean, this doesn't look too bad. Maybe we can work with this. Maybe we can work with something like... Maybe. I'm just gonna kinda mess with this jaw a little bit more here. Because the jaw kinda goes underneath the front of the face here. So... I feel like from far away, the jaw would kind of be in line with the neck, but still kind of be out in front. So, okay, that actually looks a bit better. So if we kind of show where the jaw is, it kind of goes out like that, and then goes up there. So we'll just kind of make that indication now as we smooth in this area. Just kind of bring in some of that detail. Smooth it, make it mesh with the face. And then same with the bottom here. Let's just kind of smooth this area in here so that I have that indication. Something like that. It looks a bit too lumpy though. So let's just kind of keep smoothing. See if we can get it to look any better. I think that that looks a bit better because you can you can clearly tell where the jaw is on the face now. So let's just kind of smooth out some of these areas. Yeah, that that definitely looks a bit better. Let's see. From this angle, I'm not quite sure what it is about this angle, but I'm not entirely feeling it. Maybe, maybe if we kind of bring, I don't wanna, I don't wanna bring the mouth in too much because I don't wanna leave those creases. Maybe if we just kind of bring in the sides and then bring this down and in a bit more. And just kind of smooth it. Okay, that doesn't look so bad from the front. Side view looks pretty all right. We smooth out some of these face details. Three quarter view. Let's see. 
Hmm. Oh. Hold on one second. Might be having a bit of stream issues. The, uh... The lights are kind of flickering in my room here. We might be having a little bit of a power problem. Let's see. 